In this third part of our introduction to the digital publishing suite in Adobe InDesign, we're going to talk about alternative layouts. Now, in the second part, we actually looked into the overlays for the first time, and we added an audio overlay to our, our, uh, our article here. Now, the article is in horizontal orientation, or landscape orientation. And as anybody who has a digital device knows, these digital devices allow you to actually switch the orientation. So essentially, you can go from viewing things in a vertical or portrait orientation to a horizontal or landscape orientation. Now within the InDesign uh, DPS suite, you have the ability to actually create alternative layouts. So in this case, I have a horizontal layout, and I want to create an alternative layout, that being a vertical layout. To do this is actually quite simple. If you come over to the Pages window, you'll notice that when you're working in DPS, there's going to be a, a slight difference than what you would normally see in the default uh, printed document layout. Over here, you'll see an iPad H above your page's thumbnail. Now, iPad H, of course, the iPad is relating to the fact that when we first set this document up in the previous screencast, we set it up as an iPad uh, document, so 1024 by 768. The H, of course, is relating to the orientation, so H for horizontal, V for vertical. In order to create an alternative layout, uh, the process, like I said, is quite simple. After you have already completed your document in one layout, it's go ahead and go up here to the menu in the Pages palette, and you can create an alternative layout. Now, when you click on that option, you're going to get this window here. By default, InDesign automatically knows what orientation your document is currently set at, and that being horizontal. So then it automatically makes a guess that if this one's already horizontal, the alternative layout when you create, well, it's probably going to be vertical. So it automatically gives you a name, iPad V. Now, of course, you can change this name however you want. The nice little feature here of the alternative layout is that you can actually have InDesign copy all of the content, all of the overlays, all the, all the things that you have laid out in your horizontal pages and copy it over into the new vertical pages. So from the uh, source pages, we're going to go ahead and say yes. I want you to go ahead and take all the content from my horizontal pages, H, and copy it over to our new vertical pages. Next, it's going to ask us exactly what page size it is. Now, of course, by default, it's going to choose whichever one of the devices that you had previously used to set this document up, in my case, iPad, and it's going to adjust the width and the height to match the vertical orientation. As far as the liquid page uh, rules, we'll go over that in a later screencast. So I'm going to click OK. And when I've done that, now back over here in my Pages palette, you'll notice now I have two columns, an iPad H and an iPad V. And the more eagle eye view, we'll notice that the thumbnail for my iPad V looks a little bit off. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on that. And here is my new iPad vertical layout. But notice as I begin to scroll up and down, there's something wrong. Essentially what InDesign has done is that it's taken the source content from my horizontal page, in other words, this horizontal layout of John Coltrane, and essentially has basically selected everything, copied it, and then pasted it right in the middle of my vertical layout, which of course doesn't quite work. So the second step is as you are creating these alternative layouts is, is that you're going to have to go into the vertical layout. You're going to have to do some cleanup. Now, thankfully, there's not a whole lot of cleanup to do in this particular document, um, but I will go ahead and we'll, we'll resize the, the image frame here from, for John Coltrane. There we go. And we'll go ahead and change his fitting options again just so that we have a bit more, a bit more appropriate cropping just for this particular size. So there's John Coltrane again, and I'm going to go ahead and we're going to select, I'm going to select both the audio file and my static fake button. I'm going to reposition that down here closer to the bottom of the page. And there we go. So now I've got a horizontal layout and a vertical layout. Now just as before, I can go ahead and I can test this. So I'm come back here to my horizontal layout and go back to my folio overlays and click preview and preview this on my desktop. So 
So here's my desktop content viewer. And there is my horizontal layout. Everything works as it was before. That's great, but how do I see my vertical layout? Well, thankfully, the Adobe, the Adobe Content Viewer actually gives you an option to do this. So if you come up here to the top, under View, you'll notice you actually have your two layouts now listed. So I can choose my iPad V, and it will now display my vertical layout as well. Now, it's a good idea if you're going to do this on a desktop. I'm currently doing the screencast on my MacBook. Uh, you probably want to make sure that you have a, uh, a screen resolution that's a little bit tall, uh, taller than mine, so that way you can at least see all of your particular layout. But for the most part, it's very simple to go ahead and create horizontal and vertical layouts within Adobe InDesign and then test them using the Adobe Content Viewer. that's it for this particular screencast. In our third part, uh, excuse me, our fourth part, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the video overlay. So please join us for that.